Welcome CSE 103 class to exercise 24 out of unit 10. This is our president's database using Access. So we're going to use Microsoft Access. So you have to have access to a Windows version. There's no access on a Mac. I'm working on a Mac, but I'm actually using Parallels so that I could run Windows on a Mac. So you either have to do this at school or just find someone who can work with Access or whatever you need to or come into the lab and do it when you have time on the last week of classes. So what you're going to have to do here is open up the instructions and you are going to have to download a file. There is a zip file because access files do not go through my Warren. So you're going to have to go over here to coursework and go down to unit 10. And these are out of order right now, but you're going to go to the database access using the presidents. And there's one I already have inserted from class and you're going to download this and just click on it. You could just click on it and put it into your downloads and it should go down here. And then it'll be a zip file and you should be able to just double click on it. And when you double click on it, you should see the database file. And what I recommend doing is just double clicking on it. Just do a save as and resave it to somewhere that you're going to have access to it. Even if you just save it to your desktop, you could do that. And if you want to put your last name in here, you can and it will save as an ACCDB so I'm gonna put my last name in here and my first initial and I'll save it and you may not see the ACCDB but I do because I have my extensions uh, turned on so I can see the extension so I'll save it on my desktop right now and I'll hit save and you still might have to enable content because we are gonna make changes to this and just like in PHP my admin you're gonna have a table here so you're gonna double click on this table to open it and there's our data and this is called data sheet view and in access which is odd this icon shows where you would go to not the view that you're in so that icon is actually for design view now design view would show you the basically the fields your field setup or your column setup like we did in PHP my admin and just like we set up things as var car and int they have short text and number and just different kind of terminology and these are further properties that would show like how many characters and things like that. These are your properties for your fields. And we're not going to do anything like that, but we just wanted to show you. And one thing I had to do was take out spaces in some of these because we're going to run some SQL queries and it makes it more difficult if you have spaces inside the field name. So I took some of those out. Some of them are still there, but the ones we're going to use I took out. So anyway, to go back to our data sheet view, this is the icon that's data sheet view. We got to go back to it. And we're going to go back to data sheet view and the first thing it's going to ask on our instructions there's a whole bunch of questions here and to record these if you're doing these at home i would recommend uh, maybe just opening up word or a text file or anything else it doesn't matter you're just going to cut you don't have to save it you're going to just copy and paste this so i'll open up a word file just to have some things in here to paste into and I'll just put my answers here on separate lines you could put the number if you want it doesn't matter but i'll go back here and take a look at my questions and we'll look at a couple at a time to go through this faster it says and the first question is how many presidents are there in a the list now that's pretty easy if I go back to access it's going to show me at the bottom you're always going to want to look for your answers at the records at the bottom so there's 44 so that's easy so I could go back to word and just put 44 and you can put presidents if you want you know that might be easier to just put presidents and then I'll hit enter and then I'll go back and check out the instructions and it says who are the three youngest the three oldest so I'll do that I'll do those two in a row the three youngest and the three oldest and I'll go back to access now to find the youngest I'm looking for age so I'm looking president name age at inauguration so that's this field right here and I want to go on that field age at inauguration and I just want to sort it you could use the arrow here and just say sort smallest to largest and Roosevelt Kennedy Grant you could just use those even though there's a tie with Clinton and you can even make these shorter if you want or you could try and see if you can copy I don't know if you could copy these out of here I haven't tried this let me see if you can get these let's see if you can copy them and put your answers that way I'm just trying this I haven't tried it yet let's see if you could do this uh, it does but let me put it as as text and that worked like that so um, I don't need president here but I could put I could put youngest so that might work now these are all on separate paragraphs I mean you could you could just put spaces up here if you want but that was probably easier than typing them and then I'm gonna have my oldest 
after here. So I'll just put oldest because that's what's going to be next. And then the three oldest would be, again, I'd use age and I'd go here and I'd say largest to smallest. So those are the oldest. So it's Reagan, Harrison, and Buchanan. So I'll just type those in. All right, so those are the oldest. So we're moving along. I'll go back to the instructions here. And the next one says, what college was the most popular among presidents? And then how many presidents did not graduate from college? We're going to do some queries there, but let's start the easiest one. What college was most popular and how many presidents went to this one? And we're just going to sort this one. So this will be easier. We're just going to look at college over here. And we could scroll over to this field. And there's college. And we're not really going to count how many are in the field. So all that we're going to do is just sort them, just like we did, A to Z. And if you just scroll down, now this is a list of not that many. There's only 44, so there, we don't have a huge list here, but we see, if you scroll down here, Yale has three, William and Mary has three, Nunn has a whole bunch, and it looks like Harvard has the most. But even if Harvard had a whole bunch and you couldn't count them, you knew it was the most, but you wanted to count them, you could just go here, click in the Harvard field, or the Harvard data field, and you could just right-click on here and choose equals Harvard. That's basically a filter by selection is what I'm doing. I'm filtering all the records that Harvard is their college. So I'll do that and I'll have basically a temporary kind of filter here and it says if I look at the bottom there's five. So Harvard five and I'll put that in there and I'll just go back to Word and I'll just put Harvard five. That's all I should need right now. And then I'll move on to my queries, which I shouldn't have to record anything for the queries at least. So I'll go back to my instructions. And how many did not graduate from college? So I didn't figure that out yet. I could do this the same way. So let me just go back. And now if you toggle filter, this will turn off the filter because I'm not seeing all the 44. So I'm going to toggle filter. I'll turn that off. And I'll just look for none. And I'll do the same thing. I'll right click on that. And I'll say equals none. And it's telling me down at the bottom there's 11. So there's 11 for none. So I'll go back and record that. I'll put none, 11. Now, one thing we're going to do here in Access is we're going to do a query. Now, let's take a look at our instructions first. How many? So there are 11 that did not graduate from college. And then here it says instead of just counting, now we just counted. But what we're going to do here is we're going to run a query to find that out. So we're going to actually go back and kind of redo what we just did. And we're going to run a query and we're going to save it. So there's a bunch of steps here to do that, but it's really not that hard because it'll be easier when I show you. So I'll go back and I'll turn off my filter by using toggle filter. So now I have my full set and we're going to run a query. Now query is easy. We just go to create, create tab. We use query design, not query wizard because that's for babies because we can just do query design. We'll do there. Now when this comes up, you're just going to hit add and close because we only have one table. So we're just going to do add and then close. And you don't have to really do anything. And then down at the bottom, it's really tiny. You got to click on SQL. We're going to use SQL. You could use this to write queries, but we're going to use SQL. We're going to use SQL because we just did it in the previous exercise. So I'm going to go into SQL. Now, one thing here, this is really tiny. So actually, I'm going to close this. This is my query. Let me close this. I could right click and do close. And I'll do that again. And the reason I want you to show you this is because do you want to save changes? No, I don't want to save changes. What I do want to do is I want to go to File, and I want to go to Options. I want to go into Object Designers, and I want to change my size from 8 point to like 16 point. I'll make it double the size, and I'll hit OK. And that'll just make my, my coding so much easier. So don't forget to do that. So again, what I'm going to do, make sure I have my full data sheet here. I'm going to go to Create, Query Design. This comes up, just hit Add, Close. And now when I go to the little SQL button down here, it's a lot bigger. Now the only thing you have to remember is you have to put in the asterisk. I don't know why they don't do that, but they have to put in your asterisk. And then here, it doesn't matter if it's on multiple lines. We're going to select all. This is the, the table that we're working in. And we're going to say where, because that's our condition. And we're going to say where college. And you don't have to put in any characters in here if you don't want to. Equals. And we're going to put none. And you have to spell it exactly the way it is. And you have to put in quotes and you have to have the semicolon at the end. When you go here to President's Master, you got to make sure it says none. And you got to make sure that the field name is college with a capital C. So you have to be careful about that. So I'll go back to my query. And this is my query. So everything has to be right here. You can't have two semicolons. You can't leave the one there. You have to make sure there's only a semicolon at the end. 
and make sure everything's spelled right and make sure that you have your asterisk. And then when you run your query, you might say, where do I run it? It says something about an exclamation mark. Make sure you click on the design tab and just hit run. And there's my query and it shows there's 11. So there's 11 for none. Now we already did, you already recorded that so you don't have to record this. But what you are gonna do is save this. So if you right click on this tab and do save, you're just gonna call it no college. And you're gonna turn this in when you're done. And it'll get saved in your little queries object area, no college. Now when you're done with this, you could just close it. You could just right click on the tab and say close. And now you're back to here. So we're done with the first page. So we're doing okay here. So that's the first page. That's all you had to do for that one. So now on the second page, we'll do a couple quick filtering operations. It says how many presidents were from New York and then how many presidents were lawyers. So that's easy. So 15 and 16 will be easy. So uh, those will be the next two questions. We could put New York this many and lawyers that many. So going back to access, we could go to state elected and we'll look for New York. Here's New York. And you just have to be in there. And you could also use this. This is also filtered by selection and say equals New York. And there's nine. And before I forget, I'll go back to here and I'll say New York. I'll just put NY nine and I'll put a comma, keep it on one line and I'll go back to access. And remember, this was just a filter. This wasn't a query. So I'll just toggle my filter to turn it off. And then I also wanted to find out how many presidents were lawyers. So I could just find a lawyer. There's a lot, so it's not that hard to find. And whether you you right click on it here and say equals lawyer or do it up here. And now I have 26 that were lawyers. So there's down here it's saying there's 26 that were lawyers. Some of them went to college, some did not. So they must have just had a you know, pass the bar or something like that or be certified in some way. So there's 26 presidents out of our 44 who were lawyers. So I'll just put lawyers. Okay, then we're going to go back and do some queries. So let's look at our instructions. So we did that. We did 16. We're on 17 now, so we're almost done. And we're going to do three queries. And you could even copy these if you want to, but we're going to do queries for Democrat presidents, Republican presidents, and neither, which requires using a none symbol, which is usually a exclamation point equals, or in this case, we're going to have to use these. So I'm just going to copy this and see how this works out. You never know how copying works from a PDF, but I'm going to copy that right now. But it'll work the same way. Even if you typed it one time, it's not that hard to do. Actually, I should probably just type it. And then I'll just copy it and use it again. So we're going to make a couple queries here. So we're going to go to create again. And also make sure that we're in the full database. So let me go back to home and let me toggle filter. Make sure you do that. Make sure you turn off the filter so you have all your 44. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to create and go to query design. Same thing, just add close. That's easy in this case. And go to SQL. And it selects all from President's Master. And I, I can even backspace and get rid of this for now. I'll use a separate line where. And it's political party with a capital P and a capital P. So it'll be where and no space. You have to take out the space. If you do use a space, you have to use square brackets. So if I did have a space in it, I would have to do it like that. That would work. But I went through and took out the spaces so we didn't have to do that. But if there are spaces, you have to use brackets like that, at least in access. But if not, you could just do it like that, but you still need the capital P's. And I'll say where political party equals, and I'll put my quotes and I'll say Democrat. I'll do that first. Make sure you have that spelled right and make sure you have a quote and then make sure you have a semicolon at the end. So that looks okay. And then if I did it right here, actually, let me copy it. And if I hit run, I'm gonna have an error because it says it includes a reserved word or whatever. Whatever it says, it's talking about punctuation. It doesn't have the asterisks. So we have to put our asterisk there. And then I'm gonna copy it one more time so I get it right. And that looks okay as long as I have Democrat spelled right and political party. And I'm going to hit run and that should work. And I have 15. And I'll just go and put, I'll go to my Word file and I'll just put Democrat 15. And I'll put Repub. Now that I have Democrat 15, I'm going to make this a query. And this is really easy to do. I'll just save it. 
and I'll just call my query Democrat. And that way it's saved. That way I have an active kind of object here of Democratic presidents. And then I can close this. I'd recommend closing it, even though you can go back into your SQL. Close this and then make a brand new one. Create, query design, add close, SQL. And hopefully you can just paste that and just replace this with Republican. And make sure you have your semicolon. You spelled that right. Everything else should be the same as your last one. And you should be able to just run it using this thing. And now I have 18 for Republican. So I could go to my Word file and just put 18. And then my last one is neither. And this one is a little more challenging. Not that hard. But, but first, make sure I save this. I'll save this as Republican. So now I have my third query. We're only going to have one more query that's going to be saved. And I am going to close this one. And I'm going to make a new one, create, query design, add close, SQL. I'll paste again. And now this is where we're going to say where they're not. So instead of equals, we're going to actually going to use less than greater, Democrat. And I have to put this thing again. I can't just put and. I'm actually, we're going to do and because it's going to have to meet both criteria. And, and I don't just want to put and Democrat. I need to put the condition twice. So the condition is political party is not Democrat and political party is not Republican. So it needs to meet both those criteria. That's why we need to state that. Because this could be something else where the political party is not Democrat and they're not at a certain age or anything else. So Or they're not from New York or whatever it is. You could, you could do a query about anything. So, but we want to make sure that they meet the criteria that they're not a Democrat and they're not a Republican, and it has to meet both with and, not just or, it has to be both. So when we do this, it should filter out any of the Democrats and Republicans. Now let's see, as long as I have everything spelled right, I'll hit run, and I just want to make sure that there's no Republicans or Democrats. That's Democratic Republican, which is different, and there's 11. So if I go to Word, I could just put neither is 11. And then I'm going to save this query again from Access. So I'll just right click and I'll save it. And I'll just call it neither. And now I have my four queries and we're almost done. So we'll check our instructions here. And the last thing, we're just going to run queries, but we're not going to save these. So we have our, our four saved query objects. This one we don't have to save. This one just says how many presidents served eight or more years in office and how many presidents served less than four years. So we're just going to find this out and then we're going to uh, save it and, and export it. Or we'll export one of, the, one of the queries. And it's years in office is greater than or equals to eight. This should be four. I actually have a mistake here, so I have to fix this. This is less than four because it says less than four years. This should be four, so I'll fix that. Uh, when I re-upload the instructions, so don't mean to confuse you there. That should be four. So, and it's obvious, obviously, from looking at that. But anyway, we'll go back here and I'll close this query. And I'm still going to do a query. There's other ways to do this. There's there's advanced filters, but we're just going to keep doing queries since we know how to do that. So we're going to go to create and query design, and we're going to say add close, and I'll go to SQL. And it says from President's Master. And I'll say where. And it's years in office. And it should be a capital Y, capital I, and capital O. Uh, it's not camel case with a small y. It's a capital Y, capital I, capital O. Where it's years in office. And the first one is going to be gr e greater than or equal to 8. So I'm going to be greater than or equal to 8. And I'm going to copy it. Well. Let me put my asterisk in there before I forget. And I'll copy it again. And I could run it. And let's see what happens. And you can see they're all years in office, eight or more. And there's 14. And I'll just put 14 as my answer. 
and I'll even put a comma here and I'll put years less than four and I'll put a colon and then whatever the answer I get for that that's my answer and I should be done this should be all the stuff that you should have to hand in so I'll go back to access now I don't have to close this query what I can actually do is just go to the query here again because we're not saving these and just change this to be less than four and make sure it's not 48 so so it's, it's the same condition it's just less than four I mean it's the same field we're talking about or column years in office or field in access they call them fields so years in office is less than four let's just run it see what happens and these are all the guys who didn't make it four years some people got sick some people got shot some were just filling in for somebody else so that's eight that we have there so we could fill in eight in here and that should be all we need so we are going to copy this stuff and put it in our comments but before we do that I'm going to go back to access because I think we're done and actually let me look at my instructions it says we're going to close the query tab and then actually close the table tab we're going to select no college and we're going to export that query as an Excel file we don't have to make it a CSV actually this is wrong that should be XLSX so I'll have to fix that too but we don't have to use a CSV like we did with phpMyAdmin. It could go right away to an Excel file, then we can upload that. So we're going to go back to Access, and we can close this. I don't need it, and I don't need to save it, so I'll just close it. We already have the answer, so no. And then I could even close this, the table, and you have to close it if you want to close out of Access. I'll close that. And you want to save changes? I don't know if we made changes or not. I'm just going to hit no and then no college is the query that I want to upload basically because that that way I know you did a query if you did the table I, I would just see the presidents that wouldn't do anything so if you select that query and you go to external data and not import but if you go over to export there's Excel we're gonna export this we're gonna export this as an Excel file and you can see it's SL XLSX and you could browse to where you want it I'll just put it on my desktop right now just temporarily and it's called nocollege.xlsx and I'll save it and I'll hit OK and I'll close it and I'll go back to my warn and I already have one here so let me delete this and I'll just do it over and I'll add a comment and remember you could use this insert file and I'll hit upload and I'll look for desktop and it's no college dot not the we're not looking for the access file we're just looking for the query that we did that we saved as an Excel file and I'll hit open and I'll overwrite because I have one in my moxie manager and I'll hit insert and there it is and then I'm gonna hit return or enter and I'm gonna go back to Word and I'm just going to highlight this stuff and I'll copy it and I'll just paste it here and it says remove formatting sure I'll remove the formatting and that's fine and that's all you need as long as I see that stuff I'll know your answers and as long as I, I see your file that you did a query and I see all your answers on your sheet you don't have to submit your sheet to me unless you filled it out and you wanted to take a picture of it and send it back maybe that's easier uh, but either way as long as you at least get the Excel file in there, you could save this. And that's it. And then you're done. So if you weren't in class to do that, you could do that from home if you can have access to Access, which you do not have on a Mac. Mac does not make a version of Access in their Microsoft Office package. But you either have to get to school or just kind of find someone who has Access or do it somewhere else. So anyway, that's exercise 24. That's our president's database, and that's finishing up pretty much our hands-on stuff for the semester.